Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Now as you probably know, ESET have released their final versions for 2015, that is ESET Antivirus and ESET uh, Smart Security version 8. So today I'll be taking a look at their Note 32 Antivirus and the reason is ESET Smart Security is basically ESET Antivirus plus a few more features which includes firewall. Since I've never really seen the contribution of firewall in any of my tests, so I think uh, testing the antivirus would be good enough. So since I've always tested smart security, this time I'll be testing their Node32 antivirus. Now, as we all know, ESET have fairly reliable signatures. They're not the best, but uh, they have fairly low response time to threats and uh, you know, they don't give you that many false positives, so their signatures are very reliable. But that's about where the advantage of ESET ends, because their zero-day components are just completely non-functional at the moment. So, they have this little section called HIPS or Host Intrusion Prevention System, but as you can see, I mean, with automatic mode, with rules, this almost doesn't do anything. And if you go into interactive mode, it does too much. If you go into policy mode, it does too much again. So some people have had luck with putting it in learning mode and then going back to interactive mode. But I've tried that and it still is not good enough. So what I recommend with this is just turn it off, get another firewall, use their antivirus for their signatures if you want to, and you can use a third party firewall for the zero day blocking. But if you're really paranoid and uh, you want to mess around with this component, by all means do so, because you've got the freedom in this, which uh, very few other products would actually give you. You can just go in here, create your own rules, and basically customize everything. But unless you're a security nerd and you're just crazy about security, I bet nobody's going to do it. So I'll just be testing it the way it comes from the factory that is automatic mode with rules, everything turned on, advanced memory scanner, exploit blocker, and we'll see if any of those things come into play. But the really nice thing about ESET is that it is gamer friendly, doesn't take up too many resources, updates are small, so it's great for people who really don't have a very fast internet. And they can also, you know, it even gives you a critical system updates, so you don't have to do all your updates. You can just do the ones that ESEC thinks are important for security. But anyway, let's take a look at their memory usage. As you can see, uh, ESET does take a bit of memory. It's taking about 87 megabytes right now. But don't be concerned. Don't let anyone tell you that ESET is heavy, because I've used this for quite a while, and it's not heavy at all. And the reason is it doesn't take up your CPU and it doesn't, um, you know, uh, use your hard disk as much. Memory is only the very, I mean, a very fundamental and a small thing in terms of uh, resource usage for your computer. And in some cases it doesn't matter. And that is the case of ESET. The reason the memory usage is high is because it's holding its signatures in memory. But that is also the reason why its response to malware is almost instantaneous. So don't get worried about the slightly high memory usage here. This product is really light. You'll know it when you use it. So that is not a concern with ESET. So let's get started with our link test. I've got a few links, about um, five, I guess. And these are fairly, uh, fairly old, I'd say. I mean, they're around 24 hours to 48 hours old. And I've tested this thing in the beta with some more links, so I'll just be doing a really short link test. And as you can see, this thing is blocked even before I visited the website. So it just got this thing and blocked it. Okay, let me just turn off MCSoft. Okay, let's try this once again. And as you can see, ESET blocks it. So let's go ahead and try the next link. I don't know if that was dead. This one has a fairly high detection ratio, so it should be blocked easily, and it is. ESET's web blocking is definitely one of the best. It's really good. 
Now this thing has a fairly low detection rate. Let's see if ESET can block this. The file is allowed to go through, but it's blocked by their signature, so that's a good thing. Now this one again has a fairly high detection ratio. Should be caught easily. No, we're allowed to download it, but it's caught and blocked. So he said easily managed to clean sheet there, which is no surprise to me. I was kind of expecting that. But now the interesting part, let's do a detection ratio test and see how this thing holds up because that's pretty much um, what we'll do for today because ESET zero day component is not meant for like testing the way I do. So I don't recommend you to use this product uh, entirely for your security. But we'll get to that in a little while. Now I'll just temporarily disable the protection. Just give me 30 minutes. So now we'll just go ahead and grab our malware, which is uh, a fairly big sample this time. I believe we've got 763 files, and uh, they range from two-day-old malware to about seven-day-old malware. And in fact, 263 of these are the ones from the Norton Review, which had slightly lower detection ratio than what I usually have. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of a detection ratio ESET manages on the sample. So I'll just show you once again that it's up to date. And as you can see it is. So I'll just right click and scan with ESET and I'll remove everything that it detects and then I'll be back with the results. Welcome back everybody. The scan is complete and I've already figured out the detection ratio. So ESET cleaned uh, according to it 778 files but again this count is not accurate. Once again I just uh, selected all the ones uh, that were you know not taken care of by default. I just selected them to delete so the detection ratio should be accurate. So that gives us a detection ratio of 81%, 121 items left over. There you go, 81.14, 80, sorry, 84.14, that's my mistake. So this is the detection ratio, which is fairly respectable on these files, considering MCSoft got a detection ratio of 87% just a couple of days ago. But again, it's not exceptional, I'm sure, you know, at this point of time, there might be some products that would probably score above 90 on these files. So it's not exceptional, but as I said, they are reliable. The nice thing about ESET is it gives you very few false positives. So if ESET detects something, you can be fairly sure that it is malware or in some way malicious. And uh, that's probably the biggest strength of ESET. Now the weakness is uh, the part which uh, I was supposed to start, but I'm not going to start right now because it's pointless. If I run these files now, they'll all just get by. I'll just run a few to prove that. We're not going to see any alerts because there is nothing to give us an alert because uh, their intrusion prevention system basically allows everything. They're, they don't have any rules for it. There's only one rule and that says allow drivers and stuff to load. That's all. So, and if I go into interactive mode, for a moment you may think, hey, that's great. It's blocking it. Great. But then you run any legitimate application and you get the same alert. So it's basically pointless. And there you go. It will basically drive you crazy. So a regular user's nightmare this thing is. So it's absolutely unusable at this state. The only way to use it is if you write your own rules or if you like go into learning mode, create some rule it'll create some rules itself 
and then go back into interactive mode but I haven't had too much luck with that either so what I recommend is um, just turn this off or ignore it and uh, you know you can just uh, get a firewall like you can use node 32 antivirus for the reliable signatures and uh, at the same time you can use Komodo you can use um, some other product like private firewall which would work well with something like this so um, that's basically my recommendation with regards to ESET at the moment because they seem pretty determined not to make their intrusion prevention usable I don't know why but at the moment all it does is put, puts your computer in a lockdown state if you want it to that's all it does so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review um, hope you found it useful so at the moment apart from the few um, you know small packet of people who just cannot use zero day protection I know in some offices and stuff where they just need signature based protection because they cannot have any alerts or any false positives they need hundred um, percent sure shot detection so in places like that ESET is really useful but for regular users um, who want the best security I wouldn't recommend using this as a standalone product if you're using it use it in a combination and it will do you good so I hope you guys enjoyed this review have a nice day I'll see you guys in the next Peace Security Channel video and I'm just gonna give you a slight hint you might be able to get this product from the Peace Security Channel for free in uh, let's say a few days so okay I'll just give it away so we'll be having a giveaway um, later this week of ESAT Note 32 antivirus so if you're interested stay tuned and um, just stay informed stay secure